I'm Janae Tires. This is Hannah. And we are with Tires Essentials. We are going to try to do something fun today. We just purchased this cute little cosmetic airbrush. It was super cheap on Amazon for like $35. So I've always wanted to try airbrushing and I didn't want to jump in, you know, 100% and buy the $200 airbrush. I wanted to try something simple and cheap to get the concept down. And then if we love it, we might go all in for the expensive one. But for right now, we're going to go with this one right here. Um, we have these cute little molds that we got here. So we made these already with our standard bath bomb mix. So this one right here is the lemon. I'm not gonna be, this is the lemon. This is the lemon slice, but you can use it for a grapefruit, lemon, lime, anything citrus. Mm -hmm. And then we use this one. This is the peach mold. And I got this off of Etsy. I will put the link to the molds in the description in the, of the video. Okay. So what do we have here? Got like, I don't know. We just got online and started looking up airbrushing. We don't have a clue what we're doing. <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun if you come along with us on this adventure. We have mica. So we have, this one's Yellow Vibrance from Nurture Soap. Very nice, very pretty. I also might mix it in with a little bit of this. This is a yellow that I got from Amazon and it's, as you can see, like this one's really warm. This one's got like a green tone to it. So I'm thinking we'll get more like a lemony color with the combination of those. Another mica we've also brought out is our orange marmalade from Nurture Soap. So this one, I think we might try on our peach. We have this one's bright red from Siso. Um, this uh, mica comes off of amazon.com. We have a little bit of gold, maybe for a little highlight that we might try. And then our white is just some um, like titanium dioxide with a little bit of uh, white pearl mica that we have over there somewhere. All right, I charged this baby overnight. So it's really quiet. You hear that? So this thing, everything came in this box. It has three little reservoirs. So this one's like the super tiny one, a medium one, and a like really big one. And then it came with this uh, airbrush head, and uh, this is the air compressor. And it also came with the charger. So the charger I just have upstairs, but it's a USB charger that does not come with the USB wall block. Of course not. <laughs> so keep that in mind if you try it. You're gonna need to, to order that separately. There's not any instructions. <laughs> it came with instructions, but it just came with like plug into the wall <laughs> and spray. I mean, so. Okay, so this is 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol, okay? We saw some videos and we're just gonna try to match the consistency that we saw on the YouTube videos of other bath bomb makers using an airbrush. It was like a, more, I would say it was more watery than what we use for painting our mm -hmm. bath bombs. All right, so we're just gonna mix in that little mica. See how it's like a watery texture? What do you think, you think that'll be good enough? I think it should be good. Beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here first so that when we pour it in there, it don't come all flying out all over us because I could totally see myself doing something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that noise. Beep, beep, beep. That was adorable. If you guys could have saw <laughs> it, burped. Ready? <laughs> okay. I push the little button, it's oh, on. Do paper? Okay, Let's do it the paper. All right, so she's going to spray the paper and see how it comes out. Is it coming out? Oh. I see some. Hmm. I see it. I think we need a bit more mica, maybe. All right, so it, okay, so you can see it's there, but it looks really like just water. We're gonna add a little bit more mica to it so we get more opaque coverage. We have now doubled the amount of mica we have put in there. Let's see how this covers. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty. I can see it. I feel like we need more. I think we need more too. <laughs> okay, so now this is about three times as much. You feel the difference? Whoa. Whoa. So. Give me a heart. Oh, heart. <laughs> yes, you're good, girl. Yeah. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna practice our yellow on yellow concept with the mica. 
You have to excuse our dog in the background. She's excited. I think the post office man is here. <laughs> um, and let's see if it gives us any kind of highlight or low light kind of coverage. Here. Oh Immediately. Gosh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sorry for my explanation Whoa. of excitement. Oh my goodness, that is so much fun. Like immediately it showed up. Oh dude, I'm addicted. All right, can you see that dimension, that it's like depth of color we just added to that donut? It was like literally one spray with this airbrush. Looks like they toasted you with like you marshmallows. That's too cool. Yeah, like a toasty marshmallow. We're gonna see if we can do a lighter color and a darker color and how that might show up. Uh, uh, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It just looks more green. Yeah, like, there with color theory. Right. So, as you can see with that little spray we just did there, it gave it, like, a richer, warmer green. It's not really, like, opaquely covering it up, though. We have this adorable little lemon. Oh, my goodness. This is so stinking cute. So stinking cute. So, let's go ahead... Hannah's gonna give us dimension on our lemon. So that means you gotta be kinda close to it. Cause you don't wanna do that. Do you want it on the edge? Like, should we do it on the edges? On the outside too? Yeah. Um, no, I was just focused right here. Go. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like Hannah's just kind of evening it out right there, which is pretty easy to do, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so she's poured in the mica into the top. Mica with the rubbing alcohol. Look at it. It's making circles. And then we're just going to smooth it. Oh, it's a push top? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good name. All right, so you want to clear it out a little bit on here to get some of the yellow out? I actually, that actually is kind of cool. That was a nice ombre. Okay. Mm. Nice. Whoa. Mm. Nice. okay, so my fear is that we'll get a little bit of overspray that I do not want. So I am like creating a little, what do you call it, like a little cover. And we're going to cut like that so that we can... Just cover that up like that. I'm using a mold to do it. I don't want to destroy the, the actual bath bomb. So, so, boom. Should probably like drill on there. And that trust, just looking at the, the fold. But I'm excited. I don't got time for that. All right. So that little wavy shape. It's not showing up. Okay, hold on, Hannah. Tell us what happened. We turned on the compressor and then water <laughs> shot out. <laughs> but we had just cleaned it because we, I think it clogged. Mm -hmm. That's why we weren't getting a lot of color out on the leaves. So we're, we've tried it again now. Okay. Separating. Go back at this again. Mm -hmm. So we got our little mask, homemade mask. Come at a different angle, too. Yeah, come in like this. Here. Yeah, you're right. Getting that at the other angle um, gets into the divot, little crevices. Mm -hmm. Taking some pre-mixed mica and titanium dioxide. 
and you need to be some kind of paintable texture. Okay. Let's do it. I like that. <laughs> I That's do like that. <laughs> and then what? One more. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna pick it up at this bottom area. Mm -hmm. Mixing on it. I like it. You know how you gotta get get that perfect <laughs> bit. Can't be too watery and runny. All right. And is that enough? Should I build it up more? I like that a lot, actually. Let's go with that. Let's show the camera. Can you see that detail? That is cute. I like that. This light is pretty. It has a soft, a softness. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. Like a little um, block so that the over spray doesn't get on the actual piece. That's a good cover. So I guess the trick is to get all those angles, but remember your little thing won't yeah. uh, it won't fall down to the to the gravity. Oh she melted! Oh you're left handed? Mm -hmm. So this is her not natural hand. Ooh, but we can get a good angle. What part are you trying to get? Okay. So, we have finished up the green leaf on the peach. Now I think we want to do some like shadowing, contouring <laughs> to the peach fruit itself. So we're going to mix up some new color. Guys, we are in color theory mode right now. Should our peach be more in the warm red tones or should we take it more towards like a lighter orangey? peachish color keep in mind also the base color of the peach is going to shine through so we could build up to a, a warmer color I don't, know. I don't know so that's like a nice little warm coral color in comparison to the lighter peach color we have down there <laughs> ready tidy lefty Lucy okay then mixy mixy This color is gorgeous. Then, fill her up. Testing on the paper. Ooh. It needs more mica though. I feel like it looks like it's a lot of water and no, no color. Okay, color. Let's, let's go with it. Let's put a little bit more. Make it more rich. That's too much or no, I think it's good. I think um, you know, once we do this about a thousand times, we'll get a <laughs> We should have got the tiny little baby scoopers that oh, we use for the, the micro scoopers so we can keep track of it. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely a difference. I like that. So far, we haven't recharged the um, compressor yet. So, you know, we've just been playing around, having a good time, loading, unloading, clearing out the nozzle, and it's just going. So. I think these are 
my favorite thing, babe. They're so <laughs> oh my cute. goodness, they are so cute. Oh, come on, let's see. My son's in here too. What do you think about this girl? Looks good. Looks good, huh? Where's that going? Did you play that in this <laughs> We're gonna go for this uh, cool ombre effect in this little. We call it a great thing. Oh my goodness, yes. Love go that. And then let's go one time. Hi. Maybe hit the edge one more time. Just for clarity in that definition. <sighs> but wow, this airbrush is super cool, super fun. The crack. Okay, now pull back and do a lighter overspray so that it, it uh, blends better. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Alright, and then we're going to hit it with some yellow and some orange. Now I feel like you kind of want to hit the bottom one. Yeah. Okay, that's our test one. Well, first. Okay. Now let's say that to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so we have reloaded with some yellow. That's scary. And so we're gonna go in for a highlight on so the where? top of the butt. Here? In here? Yeah. Or I said like next to both sides. <sighs> okay, now let's bring it over here. Just in case. I knew I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty scary, but yeah. yeah. It's a bit scary. I like it. But yeah. Okay, let's give all oh, that. That's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. And then I, I feel like it needs the white highlight, so that's gonna be the last thing we're gonna do is put a white highlight on there. No pressure. Commit. Cute Pokemon. It needs more. More. More, as in. More line. Down, like connect maybe, it and make another. Maybe start a little higher. Giving that more, because I just feel like it's like um, too short. I want to be intentional. Yes. Now the bottom line. A little bit more on the bottom line. Just double it. Yes. a bit much but it's all right <laughs> but they are hand done i mean they are each and uh, this is literally bath and body art right here this is bath and body art that's on my i feel like you want to light the touch on this one i kind of like the lighter i kind of like it too now we're gonna do that highlight. Cause you know how like real peaches have that um, almost like peach and, and reddish orange stripe kind of thing going on. So we're trying to duplicate that look. Sorry. <laughs> so mesmerizing. So hard. <laughs> oh, so much fun. Come on, man. What is this? The bomb.com. Okay, so this one you brought it more down into the reddish mm -hmm. color. I don't want it to be. Yeah, I hate that it has the crevices. 
Didn't you say you found a way to get it? I do. Uh, just angles. What if you just do straight at it? Straight at it like that. Straight shot. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Mm. I'm gonna keep playing with it. I need to stop. <laughs> okay, I like that. All right, let's hit the next one. Next. So mad, man. I don't even want to say anything. how Hannah is like spraying in the direction of the contour of the shape like not going like, like back and forth or in circles or you know just just following the natural curve of the shape I think that really gives it a natural blended look I think that comes with just drawing so much oh yeah yeah just <laughs> our, our 2d art skills are really coming in handy for this like we didn't have our basic Oh my gosh, look at, them all, look at them all together. They look so... They look real. They do. See if you want them. It's trying to get that darker green shadow. Underneath, just a touch. Just a touch for a little bit. I can't get it in there on the other one. Huh? I kind of like that though. Can you, can you lift it? Now you know what I want to do? I want to put the tiniest highlight on one of them. The tiniest, that's what I want to do. Right? Dang, we think the same. Wait. Let me just do the white highlight and the peach first. Do the little white highlight. Let they have it for me. That's, mm. <laughs> that's so good. That is so good. It makes it look juicy. That yes. went a little too much in at the bottom. That's right. That's art. Huh? Mm. It can't be exactly. Art right, has to be perfect. <laughs> then where do you want the leaf? The light needs to match. So Wait, I feel like, what if it's right, like right here and then and a tip. tip? Yes. Wait, what? Sim the simpler? Well, I like these ones, one of this one more because it's lighter in the middle. It's not so, like, dark. But I think if you go this dark here, you have then to you have to light. go dark, 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 dark. I mean, we can see what it looks like. <laughs> uh, uh, quiet on the set! What am I supposed to do? So, Janelle here is going to be uh, trying this airbrush as well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Too big, you're just, you're just even it up. Oh, no, no. Pull back, you're too close. Mm -hmm. be, be moving always. Don't just let it stay there. That's why you go. <laughs> it's like. Not too close. And keep it moving. That's no to move because it's like only this area. Just keep going back and forth. Lightly, far, far away. There you go. And then just hit the spot that needed. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This one has some texture to it. It has a lot of texture to it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I kind of like, like it. Finally. There you go. Yes. And, and just hit the edges a little bit more. <laughs> Try like angling it. Like, yeah, to get into that corner because we always have a problem. You hear it? It's like flowing down. So I think we have ran this compressor to the end of time. You see it? The highlights really bring it to life. 
Okay, so that's it for our first part of this series. We're gonna do a couple more fruits <laughs> tomorrow. I'm thinking watermelon. What was the other one? Strawberry. Strawberry. So they're both gonna be kind of similar, but but it's gonna be fun trying to make them look unique. Mm -hmm. I got a couple ideas in my mind already. This is going crazy. Yeah! Okay, so definitely stay tuned to the next video so you can see how the other fruits turn out and you can see us improve in our airbrushing skills. I feel like the more and more we do it, the better it gets, the more practice we get, the more the results we get are what we are looking for. We just have to learn or learn how to like pressure control. Pressure control, um, blending. Blending. Um, and then I think we're already to the point where we're looking for more control out of the nozzle. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the benefit you get in a higher end airbrush is that you'll be able to change the tips and get really fine nozzles and get like a broader one and get clean, clean lines. I can already see myself um, wanting to do some stuff like that. But for starting off and just getting you some overall coverage, this little baby right here has been so much fun. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. <laughs> Hit that bell. All right, we'll see you again. Thanks for watching.